Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Thanks so much for being here today. Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world and however you are celebrating this season of the year. Now this is the time of year for gift giving and I wanna to talk to you today about gifts that you can give to the whole family. Now you may not want to give individual gifts to people uh, that may not be in your budget, but there's things you can give that the whole family can enjoy. I've got 14 different ideas. Now this is uh, based on an article that we published on 60 and Me, And so many of the uh, things I'll mention are ones that we have researched and we have included links to in the article. They are affiliate links. And I want to make sure you understand that because um, it's not a sponsored um, video in any way at all. They're just things that we found that we thought would be useful and fun for family giving, gift giving. So children and adults, of course, they've got a wide spectrum of interests and there, there are you know, lots of different variations on themes, but there are some super uh, cool gifts that I would like to recommend for you to consider. Now, we know that gifts in and of themselves are not the valuable thing. It is the thought, it is the consideration, and it also is the experience that is generated by those gifts. So a lot of the things that I'll be talking about are interactive. There are things that you can do together as a family. So, um, and not just games, not just board games, but other things as well. So here's some really good, fun and creative gift ideas that you might want to consider. There's one that I thought was so intriguing, um, and you could actually do this gift for friends. It wouldn't just have to be for family, but a group that has a similar interest, and that is a family travel map. You can buy these personalized travel maps where everybody can pin, it's like a push pin map, where everybody can put the pin of where they've actually um, traveled in the country or in the world or wherever. And I think given the fact that we're all having travel withdrawal symptoms right now, <laughs> with them, that's kind of a fun gift idea. And that's from a company called Uncommon Goods. And they have a lot of interesting stuff. They're un uncommon for sure. And maybe you've got um, a, a place that you go for your, your gifts that are interesting. We'd love you to leave that interest, that information in the comment section. So Uncommon Goods. Um, another one is personalized family mugs. And I love this, this is from Uncommon Goods too. And what it is, it's a mug that you can put the person's, um, a picture basically based on you know their body type, their skin color, their hair type, all the whatever. And then you can put their name and on the back of the mug is the family name. So it's kind of cool. It's like, you know, to each their own mug to have that cut, cup of, um, oh, I don't know, hot chocolate or uh, eggnog or something a little stronger, but it's everyone gets a family mug. And that's kind of a fun idea to open, you know, together, like everyone's got their own little mug and it's personalized. Another one uh, gift that I think is such a cool one, and I actually um, looked up several of these uh, different variations on this theme. There's a lot of them. And this is one called Table Topics. Table Topics is a little card deck where you can, where you ask questions and they've got different additions based on like teenagers and, fa and there's one for family, which is the one I think we linked to in our article. And it's a box of cards of questions. Um, and they're designed really to keep people um, in, you know, engaged in conversations like, you know, who was the person that influenced you most in your life? You know, if you could just meet one person and have dinner with that person, who would it be? And what would the, be the question they would ask them? Uh, th those types of questions are really thought provoking, like, you know, um, how would you describe yourself in six words? And they're, they're just on the cards and you pick them randomly and then you answer the questions. And I think that's a really cool one. And um, there's actually, some of the questions are funny, some are more serious. And as I mentioned, they've got different um, ones for different age groups. But this one is a general one for the family, which we thought was really cool. Um, also, uh, the ones, I, something I've discovered recently are books about Would You Rather? I just love these, they're so, so fun. And I have a little grandson who is three and we actually been playing it with him and it's, and, but for adults as well, like, would you rather, I don't know, would you rather be, uh, you know, an, a unicorn or a dragon? <laughs> you know, would you rather uh, swim in a sea of uh, chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Uh, you know, what would you, I mean, just, and then also situational ones, which are really kind of powerful. Like, you know, would you prefer uh, a billion dollars that you could spend and keep to yourself or the ability to give a thousand pounds or, or dollars to anyone that you met on the street? anyone, like millions of people, and um, it will be your choice. So some of them are really, really thought provoking and some of them are just whimsical and, and funny and some are a little gross. But they're, they're, they're cool and, and the kids love them. They're, they're just even the gross ones. So that's something, um, you know, what advice, what lesson in life did you learn the hard way? Um, what, what advice would you give to your 20 year old self? You know, that kind of question. They're really fun. They're called Table Topics, Family Edition. 
Another cool thing is Christmas baskets, gift baskets. Now, somebody was actually talking yesterday about uh, grandparents being in a care home and not being able to get out to a restaurant. And we were talking how cool it would be just to send them a tablecloth and, you know, some maybe nice little cutlery or something and a, a hamper. And they could just have their little meal in their room or wherever they could in their in their the care home. Um, but just in general, hampers are really fun, lovely gifts to give. They're so, I mean, there's some great companies. I think we linked to Harry and David, um, you know, fruit, candy, cakes, and then meats and, um, you know, and savory stuff. So you can have a wide selection. And this is cool because you could do like a 30 pound basket and then a 300 pound uh, fair hamper, anything in between. So uh, there, it's a, I think it's a nice gift. And, you know, even though we buy lots of food and well, we try to buy if we can afford it. And I'm exaggerating here, but we get what we like for the holidays. Having little gifts that are kind of, you know, food gifts that are a surprise is fun. If you live in the UK, like Marks and Spencers do them, John Lewis, and I'm sure around the world, Canada is, I'm sure has got its places and same with Australia and other parts where all the women in our community are. And by the way, I want to mention before I go on to the next ones is if you are loving this video and all the ones that I do, um, please subscribe to the channel. It really, really makes a difference because YouTube has this algorithm that if you get lots of uh, people liking and, and viewing your, your video, it doesn't particularly help me. It just spreads the word. They will publish it to more people. So that was, and, and press that notification bell, ding, ding, because that's going to tell you when new videos are launched. So the next thing is, oh, there's so many here. I hope I can get through all these. Um, the next one is a very curious one, which is DNA and ancestor testing. There's a company called 23andMe, and they basically, you send off a saliva sample and they test your saliva and tell you where you, like where your ancestors came from, like really going back to Neanderthals, like really way, way back. And it also has an element to it where you can sign up for health um, analysis. So do you have a certain propensity for a certain kind of illness? It's, it's actually that specific. And I actually did this, and this is the truth, about 10 years ago, one sec. <coughs> I forget my tea. My cup of tea is always handy, one sec. My British tea. You know why I got a tickle in my throat. Anyway, and they're really, really helpful and fun. And, and then it brings the family together. You can actually, you know, do uh, share your information that you get from 23andMe. That's a good one. What else? Um, oh, I know there's some games. I've got to talk about these games. Some of them are so, so funny. What is this one that was called Watch Your Mouth? Watch Your Mouth Family Edition. It's where players try to um, tell phrases or speak phrases with little retainers in their mouth. So you're like, okay, you can't talk, but someone has to guess what you are saying. I mean, it sounds like a really silly game, but apparently it's really popular. Watch Your, watch your Mouth. Also, um, the song game. It's another fun one where you, you have to, um, I think it's like you go, it's a card game and you have to pick up a card and then it tells you to sing a song or, or sing a song and then someone has to guess what it is because you won't remember all the words. You'll just start humming it and it's sort, sort of guess the song. Um, there's also um, headbands. This is a cool one, headbands, picture sharing. You get a headband, you pick a card and you put it in your headband so that you can see it like you can you can read it but no one on the um in the group can see what your he headband says so they have to ask you questions like are you an animal are you um alive are you um you know an object are you whatever are you pink are you blue and they just have to keep going all around and asking you questions until they guess what you are now i have one of these for uh, grandchildren and it's like for kids version it's a kids version and it's just animals like i'm a pig i'm a anna i'm a, a horse i'm a dog i'm a kitty uh, and they just love guessing the animals and you and they can't see what you are but they ask questions do you live on a farm you know whatever you get it i'm just going a little bit crazy here with games uh what else have we got there's more games um i think oh the other thing we had a, a mention of was family pajamas have you ever done that? I know when you're when the kids were really young, sometimes you would buy matching pajamas, but why not get everybody in matching pajamas? If you're in the same house, if you're able to, with lockdown friendly situations, uh, be together. Or if you're on Zoom, you're doing it virtually, digital, digital Christmas holiday. Um, you know, just wear all the same pajamas or wear something that's similar. You could wear a Santa hat or a, a reindeer hat or something that's the same. But matching pajamas, there's a company called, um, what's it called? Pajamagram, 
pajama gram and the link is in the article you can check it out but you can you can order different sizes of the same pajama another cool thing uh, i mentioned is a metal family name sign this is really cool it's I, I i live in a place where the doors and buildings are decorated like they took the time to build houses with ornamentation on the doors and i think personalizing your home and your front door is just so beautiful or your gate and this company called metal unlimited they do um, metal uh, signs that you could put made with a family crest or just something that everybody agrees to you know is a peacock or is it a you know some kind of beautiful flower something that everyone can talk about and say yeah let's do that and order that beautiful uh, metal sign i think that's a nice um nice christmas gift or holiday gift by the way i'm saying holidays because or christmas because i'm sorry i'm british and i just i just say it but i know i should pro probably also include of course holiday celebrations in general and also of course kwanzaa and hanukkah uh, are all celebrated during the month of december and this is for any celebration uh what else uh, a family tree chime is a cool idea little chimes with your name on each leaf that's kind of a cool one and what else i've got a cough today one sec <coughs> hmm. Nothing serious, by the way, guys. No coughing. It's just a tickle. It's a tickle in my throat. I've been doing a lot of videos lately. But anyway, the family chime is a nice idea. That's um, one where you know, I mentioned a little tree with little leaves, each name on it. It's a very pretty idea. And I think that's about it. I mean, there's probably more we could think about. Read the article, though, because it's got so many cool ideas in it. And if you've got any gift ideas for the whole family that you've purchased. You know, I mean, of course there's chess and checkers and backgammon and all those kind of board games, but anything unusual, anything that you've given to the family that everybody just sort of adored and loved and it brought everybody together, leave, leave a note below. Let's, let's build a little shopping list here. And not, not, it doesn't have to be expensive either. It can be super reasonable and it could be something you've made. It could be something that um, you've, you know, cut out of a magazine and put together like a collage. It's all good. So let's share our 14 plus more top Christmas holiday idea, gift gift ideas, and look forward to reading your comments. Please take it easy, everybody. Have a good time. It, this is not the season of gifts. It's a time of family and friends and love. And we love you all. So take super good care of yourselves. Stay safe and, so, and strong and calm. And we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye for now.